What's up Film Chambers? This week we're checking out the new 1.4 firmware in the Canon EOS R. What it enables is a really nice eye autofocus face tracking. Let's see how it works. Film so I really love the face tracking autofocus in the EOS R, but it's not super consistent. And there are some other manufacturers, Sony, that might have an advantage in this area. So I think that this new update really levels the playing field. And so far from what I've seen, it's really getting a lot more keepers in your shots. So you don't have to worry about getting stuff that's slightly out of focus where maybe just like the nose is in focus instead of your eye. So I feel like having that assurance that the camera is just gonna perform that much better than it already does is a really great reason to update. Now in the test, we're gonna do them with some lights on and a low light version so you can see how the light affects the autofocus as well. We got two lenses, the Canon RF 1.8 35mm as well as the Canon EF 35mm 1.4 version 2L. First up, we're gonna test out the Canon RF 35mm 1.8 lens. Under your autofocus method here, you're gonna see that you have now eye detection autofocus. You wanna make sure that's enabled. So we've got the Canon RF 1.8 35 millimeter lens on the EOS R with the new firmware. Let's check out that eye tracking autofocus. Okay, now we're gonna swap over and use an EF lens, the 35 millimeter 1.4 version two. So we're gonna put on our adapter for the lens so we can attach our EF lens to the EOS R. Okay, we're gonna attach the EF adapter to the EOS R, it's RF to EF. Popping that on. Then we're gonna attach the 35 millimeter EF 1.4 L version two. Okay, so now we're gonna test out the 35 millimeter 1.4 lens eye autofocus face tracking.
Okay, so we've got the new version 1.4 firmware on our EOS R. We've got the Canon RF 35mm 1.8 lens. We're gonna do a little bit of a face tracking test. Jay, are you ready? Face tracking, face tracking is working really nicely. Oh wow, that's amazing. So it's just following him really, really well. Oh, it kind of lost it. It had your eye, but then it... Okay, pretend like there's a goat chasing you. Okay, so it lost you there. Okay, it's picking you up now. Okay, the goat, the goat's after you now. It's a, it's a runaway billy goat. It's the most dangerous kind. Yeah, so we got a real bright background. It's still staying nice. High contrast scene. Okay, great. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, it lost you there for a second. Oh, it, it got it back. Pan out, and then I'm gonna pan in, and it picks you right back up. Very nice. All right. The eye autofocus works really well outside as well. It's a really nice feature. Oh, still tracking, still tracking you. Okay, run away, run away, run away, run away. Oh, yeah, look at that, it's crazy. Still sees your eyeball right now. You're like 15 feet away. Oh, it lost you. See if it picks you back up. Is it gonna pick you up? It does lose it sometimes. But man, when you're in within 10 feet, it's perfect. Let's do like a macro eyeball. Oh yeah, look at that. That's scary. Kids at home, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like in the Wild West, they used to use guns. These days, people are gonna be using uh, Canon EOS R autofocus tracking. You should get out of this side of town before I have to talk to you with my little friend here. <laughs> autofocus. Boom, 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 boom. And it's still tracking your eye. Eye autofocus, version 1.4 firmware. I like it. So after doing the test, I found that the RF native mount 35 millimeter lens didn't perform that much better than the EF mount lens. So it's something to keep in mind that both EF and RF lenses perform really well with this autofocus. And you won't necessarily see a huge difference in autofocus speed on the native mount lenses on the EOS R. So when we did the eye autofocus tracking, you could see when our subject moved his head really fast that it still stayed with him there. Now, it didn't quite always hit on the focus. I do think it's an improvement over the previous firmware, but it's still not perfect. What autofocus is perfect? So I found that with the original 1.0 firmware as well as the 1.4, the autofocus tracking seems to stop about 20 feet out. So we tried it in low light as well as regular light. In both situations, about 20 feet, the autofocus loses that tracking. So it works a lot better when you have a subject closer to the camera. It's interesting to see how the eye autofocus face tracking on the new version 1.4 firmware really catches the face a bit better and also seems to lock on the head of the subject a little bit better and it seems to work from further away. So when our subject's a bit further away from the camera, the focus tracking is still staying with them. I think it's a great update. I'm really excited about the new firmware and what I'm gonna be able to do with it. I hope seeing the older firmware with the newer one side by side was helpful. Uh, for me, it definitely was a big difference and I'm glad that I updated. All right guys, thanks for watching. We hope this tutorial was helpful. Let us know what you wanna see in our next one and we'll see you next week. That's scary. Kids at home, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I could just send it back at you. <laughs>